All right, guys, 758 tested positive for coronavirus have died. Total deaths number deaths numbers. 5,655 deaths in hospital. From 4,897. 4, it's hard to keep up these numbers when the TV is going fast, but uh, I shall play the video. Just give me a second. I'm sorry I'm a bit slow today. The NHS England. The NHS England saying a further 758. Uh, people who tested positive for coronavirus have died, bringing the total number of confirmed reported deaths in hospitals in England to 5,655, up from 4,897 at the same time on Monday. Uh, let's just bring you the breakdown of how that's looking. Patients aged between 23 and 102 years of age, 29 of the 758 patients aged between 23 and 99 had no known underlying health conditions. Uh, families have obviously been told. Uh, I was making the point, Ashish, that uh, a week ago we had some encouraging news. We've got that weekend lag, so the, the Monday figures looked quite promising, but then Tuesday came along and you got a spike, and it looks like we've just seen a repeat of that. Yeah, we have. We have. Certainly we did with the figures in Scotland, and now it looks like we've seen the same with those figures here in England. Yesterday we reported that the increase in the number of people... Uh, what did I say, guys? I told you it would go up. It's almost double that. Today, and people are doubting it's gone up again. And 58, and that is because, as you were explaining, there is a lag over the weekend. This is not a number of people who have died in the last 24 hours. It's a number that is released in the last 24 hours. So the data is collected, it's sent through to a, a central a collection system, and then it's compiled and then distributed. So we, we, sometimes we see a discrepancy. If you start adding up the numbers from England, Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and then you have that figure released by the Department of Health for the national total uh, later in the afternoon, about four o'clock. You will see there is a discrepancy, and that's because of the way the figures are collected and then sent to a central point, which, which then puts them all together. There is a delay sometimes in how long it takes to collect those figures and then put them onto a general database. But certainly we have seen what we think is, is probably acceptable to say that this is the, the weekend effect. We saw the same thing happen last week so there there is a pattern and um, that's usually a, a smaller figure on the monday with much larger figure on the tuesday but still and i suppose this is the critical thing this it's still too early for the government to look at these figures and decide whether a lockdown uh, a soft lockdown as it stands at the moment needs to become much harder or indeed <coughs> becomes looser and then start allowing some normality to creep in they will say certainly the message is stay at home and save lives they don't know whether the full impact of that lockdown is taking place and it is being reflected in those figures too early to say yet but we are certainly moving closer towards that he reckons the rules are going to get laxened with the lockdown but uh this is a, to the virus is a national emergency life-threatening for people of all ages everywhere in the uk to help save lives stay home only go outside for food, health reasons, or work. But only if you can <coughs> home. Stay home. Anyone can get it, and anyone can spread it. Stay home. Protect the NHS frontline staff working to save lives. Interesting. NHS England. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Give it a like, give it a comment, share it with your friends this video, and. They need to get a grip on this eventually and get a vaccine. And then they've got Donald Trump saying he's going to help Boris Johnson. So I don't know if Donald Trump's going to get the vaccine for the UK. But uh, anyway, see you in the next video. Peace. And like, comment, subscribe.